All right, action. Set this net over. That's as good as it gets right there. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Brendan here back with another video. So today, I was actually just looking at the fish in the tank and they were all together, like all four. The silver dollars and the Paku were all kind of just hanging out. They're just, you know, doing their thing, minding their own business. And we got the Pleco in the tree right there. But the room itself is looking sick. We've got something special today though. Action. Oh my goodness. Action. All right. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so stoked for this. If you guys don't know what this fish is, it's gonna fit perfect in this tank. Let me pull them out. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how well you can see them, is a water cow goby. <gasps> if you don't know what it is, if you've never heard of it, I had never heard of it before. Oh my. <laughs> Gone. Oh my. That thing is amazing. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Oh my, <laughs> Toby. All right, Toby, come on, man. Let me have a serious conversation with you. Listen, if you're gonna get me wet and keep exploding like this, you need to actually get the bait in your mouth. There you oh. go, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, Toby. Learn from your mistakes. Woo! 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 In my eyes, one of the more aggressive fish in the freshwater community, and it's it's called a water cow goat. This thing has got the coolest personality ever. I have one named Toby McGuire. Here's a picture of him. Super sick. Literally loved the fish. It would just follow me around, and then I'd feed it. You could hand feed it. You could pet this thing. It loved to be pet. It was so dope. May peace be with you, Toby McGuire. We love you, man. We need to put a piece of tilapia in there for him. We do. You gotta put a piece of tilapia in there for him. You do. Not just a piece, the full filet. The full filet. Full filet of tilapia. Yeah. Nice and fresh for Toby. Yep. Not even out of the package. Not even out of the package. Yeah, just leave it in the package. He can take it with him up beyond the greener pastures. And today, got another one. So, we gotta get this fish in for acclimating, and he's gonna be our new addition for the tank. And this fish will always be in here until he dies. What? what? There's a shrimp in there. There's a shrimp in there's a, there's a shrimp. There's a shrimp. <laughs> it was like a bonus fish. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> that's not good. But no, we're gonna acclimate this guy in there. He's never coming out. This fish doesn't get too much bigger than he is right now. I think the biggest you'll get is probably around like 13, 14 inches. Yeah, I think max size is 16. Yeah, max size. Like that's like, that's kind of rare. Yeah. So we're gonna get him in. This is gonna be his forever home. So even when we transfer fish out of here, he will always be the main fish in the tank and probably the new mascot for the channel. But look at, do the same. While we were at the store, he attacked a Pletco. Chris has got a picture of it, but that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. send you the picture, they're, throw it right now. They're, they're literally crazy, so let's acclimate this thing. We're gonna get this fish. Oh, hey buddy, he's so cute. Wow. Oh yeah, you can definitely see him better in here. Just kind of vibing, doing his thing. Pretty decent size, what do you say is right now, like 11 inches maybe? Stay right there, let me grab a tape measure. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Yay, okay, maybe about 10 inches. About, about 10 inches. About 10 inches. Awesome. All right, we got a, we got a 10 inch water cow goby. That's right. Not gonna get <laughs> crazy bigger, but. You gotta, they gotta wait until the end to hear the name. The last one's name was Toby McGuire. She just didn't know. But like, one of my best friends like in the whole world. You got a name for him? I do. Okay, you guys wait to hear the name at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. All right, acclimation. One hour later. It's been, I don't know, what, what do you say? 15 minutes? 20 minutes, maybe? I don't know. All right, my good sir, you are ready. Nobody's gonna mess with you. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this net over, we're gonna set it like that, just like so. Where did the rubber band just go? I don't know, but we're never gonna find it. Let's get this water out first. Ooh. <laughs> okay, all right, I got you, I got you. Okay, okay. I want you to hurt yourself. That's as good as it gets right there. Straight to the bottom. Yep. He's straight checking out the fish. He's going, who can I eat? None of them. I'm gonna go hide in the corner. Oh, dude, it blends in with the sand. That is so sick. Dude, the top only looks like the sand. <gasps> oh, I 
I love this fish. Guys, I cannot wait because the best thing about this, like the absolute best thing is the hand feeding. Holy moly. Oh my. <laughs> Which considering this fish is one of the most aggressive, it just does not care. We might even be able to feed it right now after just being put in there. So let's do it. We are gonna let some tilapia defrost. We're gonna feed the pond. We're gonna feed the big tank. We're gonna feed the flower horn, and we'll be a okay. I'm hoping the new water cow eats because it's gonna be so dope if it does. And if it hand feeds already, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be blown away. Where, where are you going? It's it's right there. It's right there to the side. Smell it. Hey, let me see if I can do the fucking. See, he's like not scared, dude. Like I could pet him if I wanted to. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Drop it down. Dude, no way he's gonna try and eat that. All right, well, I don't know where they are. I can't see them. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know where he's at. Oh, they got, oh, that, oh my dude, I can't see him because the shadows. Oh, he won't. Yeah, I don't see him. And that is, that's why I love bass. <laughs> Those things are like another level of aggressive. So, you guys may be able to see all the tilapia all over the bottom. That should be eaten up by not just the Paku, but now our new water cow goby. Today, well, Honda Fiat hit it. You hear you return the turbo on? Whoa, wow, this thing is fast. Oh, it's hauling. You should have seen the skid marks back there. <laughs> okay, okay, the camera's sitting on top of the indoor pond, but I got a new pump for the pond. My guys over at Hyger sent me this thing. We're gonna hook it up and this thing's gonna flow much faster than it's flowing now. Cause this pump is sick. This head attachment right here, we've got this one and then this one. I'm gonna use this one. So sick. We can control the amount of watts we want this to flow at. So we can control whether we want it to flow fast. We don't want it to flow fast. So roll the time lapse. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can see, but it's flowing nice and good right there. Everything is looking clear. The Oscar is, wow. Where's the other Oscar at? I don't, oh, there he is. And then this is like the control center. So pretty much all we can, all we gotta do is click pause and shuts off. Start and it's back on. Now I just learned you have to double click the pause to actually make it turn off. So if anybody stepped on this on accident, it wouldn't power off the tank. And then you can change the speed. So you can make it you can make it flow fast or you can turn this down, make it flow slow. But we want to keep it up as fast as possible. So that's dope. Other than that, oh there's me. And look at the tank wall. Look how clear this turtle tank is. This is like crazy. And you guys can see the pink belly side neck back there. Beta fish tank right here, glow tank, guppy breeding tank. And of course, the one and only really, really dope scaped beta tank up here with some neons, which you guys can clearly see, and a beautiful beta fish back there. And if we walk up the step stool, ow, ow, okay. You guys can see one of the two puffer fish right there. So we've got a whole tank wall. It's super sick that he got this going, and this backdrop behind here is super sick. So what's a lot cooler than that is this. This tank looks so, I mean, look how clear it is. It's like no problem seeing through the other side. All the fish are doing fantastic. There's fish legitimately everywhere. I love this thing. That tank has come a incredibly long way from being like my first big tank to now at Chris's with all these community fish. I absolutely love it. But now we've got the 150 gallon at my house. Bunch of stuff in there. It's cold outside. So we're trying to, you know, keep a lot of things indoors, but hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm about to announce the name that Chris gave me for the new fish. The last one was named was Toby McGuire. We're going to, we're going to rearrange it and go with Gobi McTwire. One of the dumbest things I think I've ever heard, but I guess that's what we're about. <laughs>
<laughs> so Gobi McTwire, we're just gonna go short by Gobi, but his full name's on his birth on his birth certificate is gonna be Gobi McTwire. <laughs> but no, it's super sick. I you guys don't understand how happy I am to have that fish. It's my favorite fish that can possibly that I could possibly keep indoors. So I'm super stoked for that. I might build a little cave back in there too, so we can kind of go hang out. With that being said, if you've yet to join my channel, click that subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at Fnatic.media. Chris's links will be in the description as well. And I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fnatic. Peace. Thank you.